Hi, this is Middle Class Matt Nicholson from Don'tBuyTheHype.blogspot.com, and today I'll be reviewing the show Luck. First, uh, Don't Buy the Hype is a blog that's about sort of a masculine, intellectual view of sports. We're sort of the anti-ESPN, if you will. And Luck has afforded me the opportunity to sort of cross over into the entertainment industry, which is really cool, um, because I love movies and film, television shows, but not all of it has sports material and subject matter that it's about. Luck, considering this horse race, um, has given me this opportunity where I can do entertainment and sports at the same time. I love horse racing and boxing and some of the sort of gentleman sports like that. The similarities between boxing and horse racing are important because both of those have, even though the beauty of pure sport, two men enter in the ring, one man enters the, um, the champion, the horse and their beauty and their nature and how they how they run around the track and they're magnificent creatures um, and that's very much seen in luck um, but at the same time there is criminal activity that goes along with these sports and uh, horse racing is um, a great example of how even though the sport is beautiful there is um, criminal activity, the underbelly of society that sort of attach themselves to the track. And that is very uh, much the case in the show Luck. In Luck you have characters like Dustin Hoffman who plays Ace Bernstein, who is a gambler, a gangster, mafioso type character who's just been released from prison after three years. You also have a group of people who are sort of what I would call lowlifes who are gamblers around the track and that's how they earn their living and they're sort of a sad bunch who you sort of have compassion on even though you can see that they're not uh, the most upstanding citizens uh, Nick Nolte is also in it he plays Walter Smith who is a horse trainer um, sort of is past his prime um, typical character in the sense he's got the rough exterior but the deep down maybe a heart of gold he loves what he does and you can see the passion for it and how he knows his sport and this is what really sort of you know makes his will spin if you will there's also some other great actors like Dennis Farina and Richard Kine and so it makes up a really great cast HBO has hyped this show up a good bit because of this cast um, but as much as I'm excited about the cast what I'm really excited about is the beautiful cinematography you see in Luck in Luck, you see the horses uh, move and race and the sun glisten off their coats. In modern sports, um, an athlete can be, uh, can be seen as a lot like um, a hero of old. Um, well, if that is true, a horse can be seen as sort of a mythical creature, um, a unicorn or a pegasus, if you will. And when they move, it is uh, almost magical. In this show, um, you see the beauty of these horses moving, moving and uh, how graceful um, of a creature they are. The one thing I'm worried about is maybe in the second episode I want to see as much. Because I talked to a Hollywood insider and she let me know that it is common for a pilot to have lots of shots of horses running or um, you know, long shots or uh, scenery, sort of you know, a wide view and that sometimes because of expense they get away with that in other episodes. I hope not. I was really excited about this show but I was also kinda worried that it would be more about the cast and more about the scenery and the animals and not have a lot of plot. Well so far I've seen a good bit of plot. It has given me the old fish hook and lured me in so I will be watching the next episodes and reviewing them. I really like Luck but I am not completely sold on the idea yet. But it is the kind of television I like. I've already mentioned um, sports and how it's related to that, obviously. But two, it's not the obvious good guy fights bad guy and in the end good guy wins type television show. It has more of morally, morally ambiguous characters. Characters kind of like a Tony Soprano who even though he is evil and vile and incapable of all sorts of heinous crimes you pull for him, and that's the way these characters are. Dustin Hoffman has just been released from jail after three years and is a criminal. 
and is immediately jumping back into sort of criminal activities. But at the same time, you want to see this sort of struggling criminal reestablish himself. So you're very much glued to the television and interested in it. Anyway, for the combination of great actors, cinematography, plot, writing, sports, a lot of stuff there, um, it really has piqued my interest. So I look forward to seeing what Luck can do in the future. See you next time in the second episode.